Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And we're going to have an interesting conversation this morning. Um, I really wanted to title this something else on Facebook, but of course, I don't want to get the, um, the video flag. But on YouTube, the title of this video today is The Erection Starts With Your Nose. Yes. That is the title of the video on Facebook. It's titled Pheromones. Okay, so let's just say this. Um, I have had several uh, messages about men liking the natural smell of a woman. Recently, if you are in my group, you saw the message where the woman says that she likes to take a bath at night and she likes to shower in the morning to get her day started. When she showers in the morning, it kind of wakes her up. And once she goes out and works and does everything that she has to do throughout the day, that evening she comes home and she takes a bath. Okay. So basically that means that she's getting in water twice a day. Her husband kind of had a conversation with her pulled her to the side and said, hey, sweetheart, I know this is your thing, but I feel like you bathe too much. And she was like, what is wrong with this man? I am in Louisiana. It is hot. It is humid. I, I sweat all day. Why does this man have an issue with me getting in the tub? I had to explain to her that he has a thing for your natural pheromones. And when you bathe, you washing all of the good stuff away. <laughs> That's about as simple as I could put it, you know? Um, so we have what our body produces on its own called natural pheromones, okay? And I'm gonna tell you something else. Um, believe it or not, families used to recognize each other by smell. Mm -hmm. Meaning a lot of the... Um, Sent a lot of the, the I don't want to necessarily say fumes, but the way our body smells has a lot to do with our genetic makeup and our family members. So a lot of times when we start sweating, we'll smell like somebody in our family that sweat. And this is just all natural. But because we wear all of these deodorants and perfumes, a lot of times we don't get to experience all of that today like we used to a long time ago. Okay, so those are our natural pheromones. Okay, and when we bathe, a lot of times we keep those smells under control. But today we're going to talk about pheromones that can be purchased. Okay, pheromones is nothing but a sex attractant. That's all a pheromone is. It's a sex attractant through the sense of smell. Erection starts in the nose. Okay. When he smells you and you smell good, it turns him on. Therefore, what happens is the erection comes. Now, are there other ways that men can get erections? Of course, visual, yes. But some men, the way you smell is what turns them on. If you were to ever talk to my husband, he will tell you that I am a person that sniffs. I will sniff him all day. I get in the crease of his neck whether he has on cologne, whether he doesn't have on cologne, and I'm going to smell him. Whether it's his natural smell, which I love, whether it's when he has on cologne. I love. Smell turns me on. A lot of people won't say that, but I'm one of them people. When I'm down there and I'm sucking that dick and he done been working and out there sweating, I'm all right with all that. I enjoy the natural smell of pheromones. It smells masculine to me. I enjoy that, but you can purchase pheromones in the store as well. So for men, we have pheromones in the black, the black bottle is the one for the men. Okay. It has a more musk smell, masculine smell. Okay. And then we have the blue one, which is unisex for men or women. Out of both of them, to me, this one is my least favorite, but I have customers who absolutely love it. It's a more neutral smell, okay? Me, personally, 
I would much rather the, either the must smell or the super sweet smell. But this one is a more neutral smell. But I have a lot of customers who love the blue one, which is a more neutral smell. Um, and then we have this one here, which is the pink one, which is a super, super, super sweet smell. Okay, so if you're one of those people that like a sweet smelling pheromone, then this is the one that you will go after. Now me, again, I've already told you, I like strong smells. This one, Head Over Heels, I don't know if y'all ever tried it, talk to somebody, they has tried it, but this was our best seller last summer. Head Over Heels, you smell like a grown woman, okay? It smells good. It smells really good, but it's a more perfumey type of smell versus a sweet smell. So head over heels, this, you, you smell like a grown woman all the way, meaning when you pass by, <coughs> excuse me, he know that he dealing with a woman, okay? I love head over heels. Head over heels was one of my absolute favorites. The reason we push pheromones during the summer is because it's hot outside. When you mix these pheromone oils with your natural body heat, the fumes just illuminate. You will light up a room with just these pheromones. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a customer who works at a daycare and she will wear the pheromones um, on her skin to keep from spraying the perfume on her clothes because she's working around kids. She's picking up on kids. You know how kids lay on you and all of this kind of stuff. And she would say to Liv, there was this one particular little boy and he would just, she said he would get on her and just lay on her and put his head down and just and she was like, girl, I'm telling you, that baby love the way this stuff smell. But she was putting it on her skin. And of course, when it gets warm, it mixes with your natural chemistry. And the, uh, the smell just illuminates the room. Now, another thing about pheromones is the way it smells on me, it's going to smell completely different on you. Because it mixes with your natural pheromones to give a unique smell. Okay. Lastly, I'm going to talk about these liquids that have come in it has been so hard to get certain product y'all they told us that the pheromones was going to be discontinued and i think the wholesale company just said that because it was just so hard to get them um but they have replenished and now we're able to replenish but we have replenished the pink pussycat liquid and the kangaroo liquid i don't know if you know but the pills were very easy to get this liquid on the other hand this shit is like liquid gold. It is hard to get. So when I, when I see it, I order so much of it so that I can have it for my fan, you know, my, my clientele base, my YouTube people, the fans on YouTube and all this because YouTube is the one who goes on the internet, on the website and shop the YouTube people. But um, a lot of my local people, y'all come into the store, get this stuff while it's in stock because I can't promise it's going to be here. We, we restocked it. We just got it in today. I can't promise that it's going to be here, but I know a lot of people love these liquid shots because it's a quick turn up. They stay in your system about three days and you can mix it in your daiquiris and all of this kind of stuff. Some people can't swallow pills. For whatever reason you like the liquid, we got it in stock. Okay. On to the serious part of my life. Starting tomorrow, I will start my series on communication. And what made me do this series, it was it didn't feel good. I'm going to just say it like that. It didn't come from a feel-good place. But even myself, I'm still having to work on effective communication skills because even as thorough as I think that I am, I'm still learning that even I have room for improvement when it comes down to communication. Um, and I'm going to use this as an example, okay? Um, I told my husband that I was cooking dinner. So I didn't give a specific time. I said that I was cooking dinner. Now we all know that when you giving a person a, 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 a statement such as dinner, dinner can be from five o'clock in the evening all the way to 
8 o'clock in the evening, right? Dinner. Depending on when people serve food. So in my mind, dinner is between 5 and 6. But in his mind, dinner is between 5 and 8, right? So I'm using that as an example to show you how even when you think you're communicating, sometimes your communication is still not effective. And sometimes, um, I'm going to say this too, when you're dealing with men and women, men and women communicate differently, right? Another thing is you have to take into consideration when you're talking to men, men like more of a factual type of communication. Whereas if I had said Spencer be home for six o'clock, I will have dinner on the table at six. He would have been there at six instead of walking through the door at eight and everything hadn't gotten cold and this, this, that, the other. So I'm saying all that to say that particular incident brought it to my attention that, you know what? I need to do a lesson on effective communication because even sometimes when we think that we're communicating effectively, it's still not effective. So I'm going to start off with verbal communication. Tomorrow will be about, matter of fact, tomorrow will be about all three, all three different types of communication, verbal, nonverbal, and written slash text. Okay. I'm not going to do visual communication because visual communication is more so like maps and pictures and all of that kind of stuff. And it really doesn't have a lot to do with relationships in my opinion. So I'm not going to touch on visual communication, but I will talk about verbal. I will talk about nonverbal and I will talk about written um, slash text. It'll be an overview tomorrow about communication and then we'll go in head first on verbal communication. We'll get into tone. We'll get into um, vocabulary because it was something that I said and just the way you say it and the time frame that you say it, it means something completely different. What was it that I said? Lord, I wish it could come to my memory, but the way that I said it and the way that my husband said it meant two different things. And we were saying the exact same words, like literally the exact same words, but the way he said it and the way that I said it meant two completely different things. So I'm going to get off into all of that. Um, the whole month of July, we will be focusing on communication. Now, I have already done um, the basics on becoming a wife or wives and training how to be a wife. That video is already up on YouTube. We've already went through the 30 minute meals that just because we were talking about it and you were doing it does not mean you stop. You need to still be doing your 30 minute meals and date night. That's something else we talked about. You need to still be doing your date night. In other words, just because we're moving on to something else does not mean you stop doing what we didn't already learn. We did proper table setups. Just because we're moving on to communication, you still need to be doing your proper table setups. You still need to be doing all of the things that you have learned over this time period. I do this because I understand that everybody cannot afford to enroll in wife school. Wife school is a whole nother ball game. Wife school is intense. It is literally mind transforming. But again, you know, I don't like it when people come to wife school kicking and screaming. I want you to come to wife school is because you really ready for a transformation in your life. You really ready for legacy. You really ready for to, to prepare your family for inheritance and all of this kind of stuff. Those are the people that need to be in wife school. But if you're just looking for this, this basic knowledge on how to communicate, how to get along, how to be able to properly present food to your family, um, quick meals to be able to, so, so that you can put decent meals on the table in a short amount of time when you don't have a lot of time, you can come to YouTube for that type of stuff. That's the type of stuff that's on YouTube, okay? Only thing I ask on YouTube, if you have not already liked the video, click the like button, subscribe, share, get the knowledge out there. Another thing that I'm working on is my delivery. I have been praying and I was like, Lord, you know this mouth is filthy, but you know that I'm trying to reach the masses of people without being off-putting. But I know that I still have my crowd that love my raunchiness, 
My personality is still here, but I'm just trying to elevate and go higher, okay? So you all be blessed. You all be safe. Make sure you go on the website and get all of these great items because everything is online. Um, this is a bundle, I want to say. the I'm going to have to check and see, but I want to say it's on the website as a bundle with the his and her pheromones. So that means when you buy one for you, you're going to get one for him too, okay? You all be blessed. You all enjoy your day. I'm going to be getting ready for dinner this evening at 6 o'clock because today I said, Spencer, dinner is going to be at 6 o'clock. I didn't just say dinner time, 6 o'clock. But that's neither here nor there. Again, effective communication is what we're about to get ready to start working on. Oh, and one last thing before I end this video. I see all types of post and memes and all of this stuff that goes up and i think we have to celebrate I, I think we have to stop celebrating being rude to one another because there was this post and people liked the post without reading my caption but the post was basically like i ain't let nothing disturb my peace if i feel like it's gonna disturb my peace i'll walk off in the middle of the conversation and i was just like oh my god when did it become okay to just start walking away while somebody is talking? When did that become okay? But, you know, these are the things that we have to work on. Because when we say that we want to be wives in training and we say that we ready to elevate and we ready to find, you know, we want the man to find us and all of this kind of stuff. When we have the certain type of attitude that we will walk off in the middle of a conversation, are you really ready for a real relationship? If you don't know how to be able to address issues, and even if it's an uncomfortable issue, you sit there and you listen to what the person has to say versus walking off. These are the things that we have to work on. I'm, I'm here for it. So we're we going to get into all of that. So just so you know, if somebody is talking, do not walk away. Even if you feel like their tone is off or you don't like what they're saying, you wait till they finish and you say look i want to hear what you got to say but i'm gonna need you to fix your tone i want to hear what you got to say but i'm gonna need you to be respectful there's nothing wrong with us uh communicating that to someone if we feel like we're being disrespected or if we feel like their tone is out of hand we don't have to match their energy we don't have to be rude and walk away what we can say is look i want to hear what you got to say because what you have to say is important to me. But I'm going to need you to check your tone. I want to hear what you got to say. But I'm going to need for you to be respectful. Okay? All right. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We're going to have some good stuff coming forth in July. You all be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day.